Hi guys, I'm Shmi. We're at NIAS, the Detroit Auto Show. We're on the Porsche stand at the moment, taking a look at their world premiere here at this show, which is of course this car, the Porsche 911 991 Targa 4 GTS. So the Targa variant of the 911 actually came out before now, of course, where you have that glass canopy at the rear, which the entire piece lifts up and back for the roof to come out. The downside of that is, of course, it adds a little bit of weight to the car. So the solution to that is to bring in the GTS variant, which was launched last year. The GTS boosts power slightly, 430 brake horsepower, slightly more aggressive performance parts around the car, and a stiffer suspension setup for that sort of more involving drive. Of course, perhaps that's a little bit pointless, probably possibly the more pointless variant, most pointless variant of the 911 because you've brought in that extra weight and then just cancelled it with the extra power. Whereas you might want to buy the GTS if you want the sporty drive or just the normal convertible. Uh, otherwise, or sorry, just not the normal Targa. Otherwise, there is a normal convertible version as well. Certainly looks good in the red though, with the contrasting silver on the Targa roof sections there. Take a quick glance at the interior of the car. So yes, I'm sure from the uh, from the Porsche side, it's just a case of ticking the right boxes when the cars are being built. I had a look at the production line last year on my tour around Europe last year, and it was fascinating to see just how many different options and sort of variants and versions of the car can be made and pulled together all there. It's just a case of making it all happen. So once you've got the Targa components all on order and you've got the GTS components on order, or whether it's one of the other variants, the Turbo, Turbo S, GT3, whatever it is, it can all be pulled together very nicely and easily. But, uh, there we have Porsche's offering here at the Detroit Auto Show, Targa for GTS which, like I say, does look pretty good, especially from that angle, like the history of the Targa roof and how it all comes together and looks pretty nice on the latest version. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do let me know in the comments what you think of this car. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. Absolutely fantastic in the bright red on the Acura stand here. 